Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Rajas of India for Crusader Kings 2. So we are now Maharaja Gurdita of Juti Kingdom. We have 20 Marshal, 10 Stewardship, 9 Diplomacy. Pretty good overall. We could use some more learning. That's affecting our tech growth rate by quite a bit. The learning value is very important for all tech advancement. So having 3 learning really does stink, but we're still doing okay, especially in the Marshall, Marshall area. We have 23 times 0 0.04 plus 20%. It's pretty good. But anyway, um, right now we're trying to, to sneak a little province from this guy. We're trying to take the, the Khan of Mahoba. All we need to do is... Um, well, we've already sieged it, so... I'm not sure... You know, in the previous... There's a previous war where I don't think we gained any war score for fighting his army. But we're gonna... We have to clear him out anyway, because he's about to... To try to take that back. Meanwhile, we're sieging through this thing. Well, we got up to speed four, at least. Now he's running away. We'll go to the next zone. 13th, 17th... Yeah, let's just... We'll let him siege. You know, we'll race him. We have a kinsman that needs an educator. Let's go with a uh, military man. As always, skilled tactician, brilliant strategist. How about... Um, we'll do this guy, my cousin. It doesn't give us any opinion, but it's still, you know, I like having those commanders. You've seen, having good commanders is a, is a really valuable thing, I think. We're right now trying to revoke the Thakana of Prayaga. And uh, not enough support. And we have our own peasant revolt. Fantastic. No one else wants to support us. They all seem to like her. That's fine. Anyone else we can maybe do? Let's uh, try this one. Seems to be some support for this one. Oh yes. Wow. That is this guy, Asni. Not a bad province. We'll do that not, not during the revolt. Not while we're dealing with this. And Hey, look at that. Fantastic. Our ally is actually strong enough that he's raising his own levy to try to deal with this. Which is nice. See right there you can see Army of Jagdeva Mathura. That's this guy. And because the armies are in his territory, he's raising his 2,000 men. Excellent. I love having vassals that are strong enough. It's really nice. We surrender. Excellent. Thank you. So we just pressed this fellow's claim. Now he has two provinces, and he should like us quite a bit for having pressed his claim. We have a female heir right now, which is unfortunate. Why don't we go ahead and take a couple concubines, see if we can spit out a boy, just to get rid of that problem. A strong 61-year-old. I don't know why she would be in the marriage list. I mean, come on. That That is just stupid. There should be no reason whatsoever for any females over the age of 45 to show up in this list. I just, I don't... That doesn't make any sense. It's really dumb. You have to agree with me. You're required by law to agree with me on statements like that. I am correct. Well, we have a lot of choices with this one. Why, um... Oh, wow. Good lord, it's huge. It's been a long time since I've actually had to, like, scroll through a list. Alright, well, we're going to make sure that we have some Kshatriya concubines, just in case they spit out babies that are quite young. Naturally, we're going to find a claimant, of course. There don't seem to be very many acceptable women available at the moment. This one will work, and she's 22. Thrifty Clerk gives a tiny bit of uh, bonus fertility. And she's Shatria. Take her. If it wasn't for the fact that we like really need to, to have con like have a, a boy. Ooh, ooh. Fantastic, yeah, please. That's a diamond in the rough there. We really need to do this, so that's why I'm spending so much time on it. And an ambitious one. Now she might cause problems for us, but I'm willing to take that risk. Now let's send this army to Osni, and this army can go over here and try to help out with that peasant revolt. Let's go ahead and wait until the army is in position. He only has the one province, I believe. Yep. So, should be a relatively straightforward plot. 
More it is. Oh no. It's almost like we knew you would do that. Almost. Time for a new ambition. Let's take the ambition to have a son just to make sure that that... I really don't want to have the, the minus 10 female heir penalty. And... We have a number of people who desire the kingdoms. Really looking forward to the point where we can become an emperor. That's a ways off. And it probably won't happen until we actually reconquer the Ghaznavid. But this little fella here... 46,000. I've seen scarier enemies. If we check the ledger, we can see that he is probably not the strongest anymore. Nope, he still is. By an order of almost double. <laughs> Never mind. You know, for the... For 30, 40 years... Um, as history will show... He's the strongest person in the entire world. Why not? We'll just pick any old woman for him. Not my kins... Why would it show... Again, why is it showing kinswoman? Like... Just silly. We'll get rid of that and uh yep. Okay, so we are starting to piss people off for having their levies raised. Not very much. This character must have just come into power, that's right, I remember now. We got three kingdoms, apparently. Do we really? Oh, this is someone else's kingdom, okay. Kingdom of Kosala. So because we have some territory over here, and that king exists, he we get to see his, his laws. And he's over here. He is actually a triple king, despite his fragmented territory. I will take combined territory any day over three kingdoms that are separated. My vassal that I just pressed the claim for is now trying to fabricate a claim on my duchy. What a dummy. Yes, I do forgive you, but don't ever do it again. Now that army's too small to actually cause problems, we did just successfully convert some territory. We'll keep trying to. No real reason not to. No real reason that we have to, no real reason not to. Certainly did pick up a number of prisoners over time. Okay. So we've got 2,000 gold. I've officially, in my mind, decided that we're going to accept this being our new capital, despite the fact that we spent all that money on uh, Lahur. It looks like he's actually built another barony on top of it. He's really building out that, that duchy. Now this duchy... Kanyakubja is not bad either. I mean, it's got six provinces in it, so that's pretty acceptable. It's got four subholdings, five, four, two, four, five. Pretty solid overall. So I mean, I'll accept it. Okay. So that guy just gave us his thing. We can start another plot. Let's try to take Prayaga again, if possible. Maybe people like us better now. Nope, not at all. Okay, how about... Uh, Mahoba. That's not even part of our duchy. Why are we allowed to revoke that? We don't have a claim on it. I guess it's because it's outside of his duchy or something. I don't know. It's kind of a strange plot. I don't really want that one. I would rather have, like, I think this is the really, yeah, lock, lock, something, let's take that one. You get enough support? Great holy war for West Francia! <laughs> so the Norse are, they just declared a crusade for West Francia, really. The Norse. 
Suomi. King of Suomi. Which is here, apparently. So he is the king of Sweden and Suomi, and he is declaring a great holy war for West Francia. That is crazy. Cool. That's really fun. This is definitely an interesting game. That that really early, um, what was it? I can't remember if it was a jihad or a crusade that kicked off. I think it was a crusade that started it all. And now that activated all of the the pagan holy orders and holy wars as well. That's crazy. All right, are we gonna get support for this? We need another six, seven, eight, like nine percent more. These guys are so close. I think we just need them to like us a little tiny bit better. What we should do is we should capture and release a prisoner. Now this is very nice. So he has 39 opinion of us. If he says yes to this, he'll gain 50 opinion. Temporarily. See that? Discovered backing a plot. So now he really likes us for a while. We request that you honor your obligations and answer this call to arms against somebody in the revolt. You are a very weak sir. Um, that is his revolt. We don't have any Casus Belli on his revolt. And I don't think we want to attack him. No, we don't even have a valid Casus Belli. We'll accept. We're not going to help him, but we will accept. Now this guy is the other guy that we want to attack again soon. We do have a Casus Belli against him and no truce. So we just need to release our levy. Oh, very nice. Some woman has a claim. My cousin. My cousin is... Uh, she's not in my dynasty, though, is she? Patiala Juti. No. So we can't really do that. Claim a single county. Single county. Single county. Or we could declare a subjugation war when we have enough piety. Enough, enough karma. Well... I suppose, um, in the interest of just keeping our army busy, we will claim. Thakur of Gwalior, Thakur of Rathambor. So Gwalior or Rathambor. They're both single county counts. They both have fabricated claims on something outside of their de jure duchy. So it's really the same. Doesn't make any difference. So, okay, that's fine. We'll press one of those claims. Just to get something going. We'll press the guy who lives in Gwalior's claim. And we'll leave our own personal levy unraised so that it can recover. Because it's still at like half strength. These guys can just stand down. In fact, we'll get rid of some of them. The smaller regiments. Might as well let them recover. And also, if possible, allow them to um, get rid of the vassal levies raised too long penalty. So we'll take care of that while we wait. Um... Looks like my Chancellor is now on board with the plot, so we could also do that. See, that's a good reason to have caught him, just, you know, discovered him doing that. This is the guy of Lachanau. Let's, um, maybe we'll sick our retinue on that. And we'll make that decision now before he loses that opinion boost. Our Spymaster's dead. Natural death. Okay. No foul play is suspected. We will... Just try to discover plots in the capital. Go ahead and revoke that Thakana. Then war it is, naturally. I'm certain that this guy is fairly weak. 5,000 men, not a big deal. He's coming in from the south. My Maharaja, many of your faithful subjects, myself included, feel that Raj Rajapala of Tamara Raj has amassed more power and titles than is warranted by his station. You know, it would be far too amazing would be a link to that character. So, Tamara Raj. Tamara. Is that the name of a duchy?
Oops. That's not supposed to happen. You can tell I just got done playing with Northern Lion and Mathis. So that's not him. Um, Alright, maybe he's in my list. He's probably in the list and he's toward the top. Because clearly they would be plotting against him if, if he's got too much stuff. So because he has two duchies, he's got the Tamara Raj, the Raj of Kuru, and the Raj of Haritakana. Haritanaka. <clears throat> Doing this will piss off my steward. But make her like us. I'm actually okay with it, yeah, let's I wanna have multiple weak dukes. This army might not even be large enough to, to deal with this. We might need to raise our personal levy. And we'll even break off one of the retinues. We have room for more? No, not quite. Okay. You put me in a difficult position, my liege, but if you feel this is the best course of action, then so be it. I shall surrender the title. Okay, so his opinion of us should go down. He's bitter about it. It should say that in the outcome. But whatever. Okay, so we'll just park this whole army on the war goal. This army should be safe. And if it's a siege race, we'll win. So, okay, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you again soon.